Hey everyone, this is Mohammed from King Wallet Center Pair. So today's video, we are working on Xbox One S Digital Edition. The customer bring it here for HDMI problem. So they, they said when they plugged in, there is no image on screen. Uh, it says no signal at all. They tried with the different HDMI cables and they tried to restart it, everything. So still not working. So I already took up the part and uh, we're gonna go for inspection and see if the HDMI port bad or the retimer chip. Retimer chip is right here on the board which is control the HDMI port. So all the signals came on the HDMI port, it came from a retimer chip. So let's go under the microscope and uh, do the quick inspection. First thing we are going to check the HDMI port. Uh, we're gonna look for the any loose pin. This looks solid, but we're gonna check it with the user. So make sure one by one all the pins. This looks solid. If there is any loose pin, so we're gonna sort it out back and see if that helps us. But so far so good. All the pins are looks good to me. So as you saw, the pins are solid and uh, HDMI port is also not broken. So we are going to test it out the filters and see if the filters are good also. So all the pins are good. So that means the problem is in the retimer chip. So this is the retimer chip, which one I was talking about earlier. So we are going to replace this chip only today. Hopefully, it will be help out and fix the problem. So we are going to add some flux on it. And we, we are going to set the air on 65, around 50 to 65, and the heat about 400 plus. It will be came off very easily. It's just need a little bit time. So don't pull it out, just make sure when it gets loose, then take out. Otherwise, we're going to end up uh, ripping off the pins, all the pads, which one goes to the retimer chip. So make sure it get loose first, and then you take out. Don't force it. Here you go. It's came off. So now we are going to clean up the whole area. So first add some more flux and then reflow all the points. Very gently. After reflow these points, we gonna take out extra flux, uh, extra solder from it. So the, all the pins looks good. So 
we are taking out the extra solder from it so that's gonna help us to put our retimer chip very gently so make sure to clean up the whole area so I'm using the rubbing alcohol for that so make sure the clean very gently and the whole area is clean as you clean that's gonna make your work easier so take out all the flux around that area so I'm gonna add some low melt solder and reflow the points again so that should help us when we put the retimer chip again so we don't have to uh, put too much solder again on the sides so I'll help you out so make sure all the points are separate very nicely and gently So as you can see the points are good now and uh, we're gonna clean up the whole area a lot of people ask me what I'm using I use the rubbing alcohol and just a piece of cotton with the user it give you a very good room to clean it out So this is the new retimer chip. So make sure when you put the chip and always check the side of the chip. So you can see the dot. So match that dot with the dot white side. So this is the side which we have to follow it. So the originally chip was like that. So we have to put the same direction. So we're gonna add some flux on it and then we're gonna put the retimer chip back on it. So when you put the retimer chip, make sure keep hold that chip otherwise uh, when you're gonna put the air on it so it's gonna be flyover so we're gonna set our temperature to 400 about uh, 420 and uh, put the air on about 45 Make sure to keep it hold your chip until it get hot and solid with the board and then we can move it a little bit around and put it in the place. As you can see it's on the board right now so we're gonna move it around and uh, put it in the right place and uh, see check out the, all the pins are connected so it looks good to me right now I think that's it it's connected everywhere
all right this looks good to me now and we're gonna put a little bit more flux on it and reset all the points again from the sides so make sure all the points are <coughs> attached with the chip Just reflow a little bit so it will be attached on the retimer chip. It's already attached, but we're just gonna double check. That's why we are doing this reflow again. So I'm using the low melting solder that is uh, help out attaching the pins very quickly. There you go, all the sides are done. <clears throat> so right here, it looks good to me. All the pins are solid. And now we're gonna <clears throat> do one more time, the other side, and then we're gonna clean it up. It looks clean now. So as you can see, the retimer chip is done. So we are going to test it out the HDMI port now. So we're gonna test it out all the pins got the voltage. So we're gonna test it out one by one all the pins and see uh, if all the pins got the right amount of voltage. So this looks good to me. Now we're gonna put it back together and test it out. So I just put it back together. Basically I connect the power supply and connect the hard drive and uh, connect this sensor. So we're gonna connect, uh, I already connect the HDMI port and let's connect the power supply and test it out if it's work fine. Should be work fine. But Let's test it out. So as you can see, it's turned on, and let's see on the 1080p. Yeah, it's fine. Here you go. So it shows the display on 1080p and 720p. It should be work fine on the 4K. And if you guys want any repair from us, you guys can always mail in your devices. We can fix it out for you and send it back to you guys. Thank you so much.